And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking towards South Lethbridge just under an hour ago. Still cloudy, but our snowfall has ceased. And uh, that's the good news uh, for us. Where it hasn't ceased is uh, in Alaska. There has been continuous snow in this poor community of Cordova, Alaska since December 17th. Six meters are now in existence as far as accumulated totals go, but they do have a sense of humor. Locals are using the snow banks as drink coolers, and they're also carving street signs. And, you know, you got to have fun with something like that. You've just got no choice but the... Uh, uh, you know, the, the emergency services have been helping dig out people and, and it's, uh, they've got more snow in the forecast for tonight, would you believe? Minus four where, is where we're at right now. That is our daytime low, would you believe? Our daytime high was three degrees and we achieved that at 4 a.m. Minus numbers are in the present tense for everybody in southern Alberta. And we talked about this yesterday. We knew that the cold front was going to be swooping through with it, some precipitation in behind it, the colder temperatures. And that's what we're seeing develop right now. And we'll continue to take a couple of days to dig out of those, uh, those temperatures as that cold Arctic air mass makes its way further south. But you can see just these bands of cloud continuing to push out to the south and to the southeast. And as we get into tomorrow, you saw the barometric pressure is rising. We've got an area of high pressure that's going to be moving in. But with that colder Arctic air, it will take a couple of days before we'll get back into positive numbers, but a little bit of a roller coaster ahead. And you'll see that reflected in the five day forecast. When we start into next week, we're starting back into minus numbers again and a chance of a little bit more snow. So yes, it is January weather, but the radar is showing no precipitation uh, coming down from the sky right now. And over the last uh, little while, we did see precipitation come from the northwest to the southeast. It is going to continue continue to push out. And as I said, tomorrow we're going to be looking at sunshine, clear skies for the most part, but cooler temperatures will remain as that cold front exits the province. Down east, low pressure centers still kicking a little bit of cloud cover, but not real active weather right now. They've got cooler temperatures, some spotty showers on the east coast, and then you've got milder temperatures through parts of the maritime, cooler through southern Quebec and southern Ontario is doing not bad temperature-wise in the positive values. Four degrees in Winnipeg with cloudy skies, zero and minus two in Regina and Saskatoon. We've got snowfall warnings out for northern Manitoba. That's that low that created the snow that dropped down over us, the frontal system that it generated. That's moving into northern Manitoba. But Alaska looking at more snow tonight, and that'll transition into Whitehorse, minus 15 right now. They've got snow in their forecast future tonight, minus 23 degrees right now in Yellowknife. For East Kootenai, you're looking at clear skies tonight. Windy conditions down to minus 11. Tomorrow, minus 3 for a high. Lots of sunshine. West winds at 30 kilometers per hour for you. For the Crow's Nest Pass, mainly clear tonight, minus 19 degrees for a low. Low. Tomorrow, windy, gusting to 60, minus 6 for a high, and lots of sunshine for you. So psychologically, with the sunshine, it'll feel warmer, but those wind chill values tomorrow are going to be a little brisk. Medicine Hat looking at an overnight low of minus 18 with a chance of flurries tonight. Windy tonight, not as windy tomorrow. Winds will be out of the northwest at 20, minus 11 for a high, and lots of sunshine for you folks in the hat tomorrow. Here in Lethbridge, we're looking at mainly clear skies tonight, especially after midnight, minus 18 degrees, which will feel like minus 28 with the wind chill, there's a reality check. And tomorrow, a high of minus 8, sunshine, and a little windy in the afternoon. So that minus 8 will feel even cooler than that. But we start to pull out of that area of high pressure, allowing that sunshine to work its way down. We get back into a westerly flow. Temperatures start up the scale, but aha, minus 5 on Sunday. And it looks like right now, Monday might be a daytime high of minus 14 with a chance of some light snow. So yeah, it still is winter, that's for sure.